Convention Center in downtown Dallas has a new network thanks to the world of supercomputing. Uh, Texas weather expert Jeff Ray shows us how supercomputers got their start in today's Weather 101 and some science stuff. If you are wondering where supercomputers intersect with your life, look no further than the latest forecast. The very first supercomputer ever built in 1976 did weather forecasting. It has completely revolutionized what we can do uh, with our weather prediction capabilities. It is a revolution in constant upgrade. About three times faster computers every two years. That's kind of the metric that we've worked under probably for the last 20, 25 years. America is where the supercomputer started. They are all over the world now. They have even left our planet. One resides on the International Space Station. The U.S. Department of Energy is home to the most powerful supercomputer in the world. The country that invented the supercomputer is again its leader. Yeah, for the last several years, uh, the ranking of number one supercomputer in the world has been with the Chinese, and uh, we're happy to bring it back to the United States. Built by IBM, Summit is used for energy research and resides in the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee. It does 700,000 trillion calculations a second. The record for now. Turns out supercomputers have at least one thing in common with your computer. We buy the state-of-the-art supercomputer and we only keep it four years. It's essentially obsolete in four years. For the 30th anniversary of the supercomputer conference in Dallas earlier this month, they built this. This year we built uh, the most powerful record-breaking network that we've ever built. It's four terabits per second. Fast enough to download the entire Netflix movies library in 45 seconds. And it stayed behind. Now the permanent network for the K Bailey Conference Center, a gift to Dallas from the supercomputing world. Super indeed. With Weather 101, Jeff Ray, CBS 11. It's just remarkable.